Their journey would take them to Rance, where they would at last pick up the trail of the elusive Baron and his Zeppelin. We're making progress. It's interesting, like, you kind of take these guys in the context of where they're currently at, and you look at them like, these were regular people that were kind of forced to be here, except for the American who volunteered because he wants revenge. Um... Oh. Okay. No! Ha <laughs> ha! Great! Moving! Holy shit. I'm committed. Oh! How are we gonna catch that thing? Oh, whoa. Okay. So he's taking care of that. Let's go through our facts. So Reims Cathedral, the city of Reims, suffered during the war, September 19th, or September 19th, 1914. As the Germans retreated from the city, they set fire to the cathedral. Then, as the city was so close to the conflict zone, it was bombarded by zeppelins and cannon fire. During the bombardments, the statue of Joan of Arc in front of the cathedral lost a hand before it was dismantled and stored in the catacombs. By the end of the war, only 1,500 inhabitants were still living in Reims. The home front. With practically all able-bodied men mobilized at the front, women, children, and the elderly were employed to factories to ensure weapons production. Women took on traditional male jobs, some even held positions of responsibility. This new role changed their status in society, and in the wake of the war, women over 30 years old were given the vote. The Women's Institute held its first meeting in 1915 with the aim of encouraging women to become more involved in food production during the war, and movement flourished. And the movement flourished. That's good. Who's she looking for? Oh, these are just all of their people. What? Go get him, buddy. I don't know why we need it yet, but we're gonna need it. Good job, boy. Let's go inside. Come on, it's okay. We saved her. Yeah, I don't think you can get over there, pal. Grab that thing. Okay, we have to go up. Good. I don't know how I'm going to save this guy. Ooh, hello. Early gas mask. Well, gas masks were in more widespread use on the front. They were also available to civilians and in French towns close to the front, like Reims, they were fairly common. This early model was one of the first, composed of a cotton compress doused in a neutralizing solution and applied to the mouth and nose, similar to the British Black Veil. Let's 
got to be something to do with getting up top there. Hey. Hey, what? I don't know how we're going to save this guy, like... really strange. Okay, we're gonna have to come back. Maybe we need something to cut that with, or... We're gonna need something, that's for sure. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Got the handle. Where's that going? Overalls, practically all able-bodied men were mobilized at the front, but production still had to carry on. Women took over men's roles in factories and in other traditional male positions, working for much lower salaries. Some even held positions of responsibility and were involved in decision-making. This new role changed women's status in British society. Okay, you stay there. Oh, but I have the tool. God damn. Let me give that to you. I'm coming, dude. Actually, bring that down for me. I'm gonna come up there now. Check out that cupboard. What is that thing? Safety razor. The most <laughs> the safety razor was an early 20th century invention and shaved more safely than barber's blades. In 1917, safety razors were standard issue in U.S. soldiers' kit because it had been noticed that gas masks provided more effective protection to shaved faces. Makes sense. Hey, what? You're not gonna make it over there, are you? What? All right, little buddy, head on over. I'll bring you down. Nope. What? Good boy. Let's go. I help push this thing? What? Oh. 
We need more men. Okay, these are the guys I'm saving, so there's still two more. I don't know how I can save this guy. something for sure. It's probably going to be super obvious once we find it. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Okay. Now I'll cut the the rope or whatever that's holding it. There we go. Go grab whatever that is. Be careful. War Godmother Certificate. To improve morale on the front, an association was created in France in early 1915 to provide succor and support from behind the lines for soldiers without close families. The war godmother sent letters and parcels forming close relations relations with their godchildren away from the front. That's cool. So they were just doing it just to help. Just to make people feel better. Weren't related, nothing. Kind of like a anonymous pen pal, but pretty important. Not that pen pals aren't important. Merci, oh no! Seriously? God damn it. Oh, do we have to do all of those again? Tell me that's not true. Okay, from here, for sure. No. Yeah, no, we're good here. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, Dexter, be careful. What is that? Active service paybook. A paybook belonging to a British soldier. It also contained practical details, such as a last will and testament form, as well as the names and addresses of close relatives to, to contact in the event of death. The book also served as a regulations guide to good conduct, advising men, In this new experience, you may find temptations both in wine and women. You must entirely resist both. <laughs> Gotta keep them focused on one thing. No more bombs, that's pleasant. What is it? What is it? Oh, no. What do we have happening here? Okay. Whoa! This is our chance. I'm assuming. Uh oh. Ah! oh that smash! Okay. And now we would want this one. Whoa! Yeah. It's not hitting him. 
Oh, I see. We can kind of move this thing. There we go. Here it comes. Oh, no. I think we might have Oh, he's still alive. No, no, no. Oh, I thought we might have taken him. Uh, those are some floating pliers? Can we grab those or no? It's weird. How are we getting on here? I'm actually not sure. We're gonna have to do something with the propellers. Oh, we can pick them up. Beautiful. Oh, damn it. Oh, good. That one didn't go. I need to get it in the back of that cockpit, pretty much. Oh, that's bad. Did it, oh, mine didn't go off. There it did. <laughs> Damn it. No way this thing's getting out of here in one piece. Oh man. We want the, that to go down, but we want Carl to make it. See, she's gotta follow and save him. 